This is our cell phone modeling project. To begin our cell phone modeling project, we're going to take an image that we found online of a cell phone and we're going to place it in the background of the 3D view and use that as a guide to trace our uh, cell phone model onto. I'm going to set up a new screen, add new, duplicate the existing model screen. I'm going to split the areas and using uh, the one and the three we'll set up a front and a side view. Go ahead and turn on the background image dialogs for these two windows. Use background image and here we'll load an image. We've created a, I've created a front. I have created a front image and created a side image of the cell phone and we're putting those in our front and side views. Now this cube is in the way. We're going to delete that. Go ahead and use uh, the X key or the delete key to delete the default cube. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to line the cell phone up on the the X and Z axis. Line it up at least on the Z axis. So I'm going to use the X offset and move that with some clicks and I want to get it dead center there. So I'm going to need a smaller amount. Let's try 0.5. Let's try 1.37. It's going to be close enough, I think. Oh, 1.36. 1.36 looks really good. And with this image, same thing. I like to line it up here on the Y and the Z. So I'm going to use the uh, the X offset and Y offset really just correspond to the to the flat screen space. So we're going to use X offset again, and I want to line this up with the center of the circular part. So let's try minus 2.25. That's going to be close enough. Okay. Now one more thing. Um, I'd like to reduce the the uh, opacity of this so I'm going to have it blend more with the background. I'll have it blend 0.75 and here blend 0.75 and now our space is set up for us to start modeling. Go ahead and minimize those. So that's how you set up background images and in the next step we will proceed with building our model.